Hey, what is up guys and uh, welcome to a DayZ camp guide. Now in this guide I'm going to talk about how to place stuff in your tents, how to place tents and more importantly how to disguise items in your tent. So if somebody finds your tent is not does not take the stuff that you're going to need. Obviously we're going to have uh, camp number one, camp number two and three. These are all going to be within 500 meters or 1000 meters of your original spawn. So let's say camp number one it's going to be 500 meters away from the coast. Now, bear in mind, this first camp is not going to have the best gear in it. It's only going to have stuff that you need for the second camp. So if it does get discovered, you need to hide your stuff so, in the, so nobody finds it. So let's have a look. I spawned with nothing. My backpack is empty. I've got my uh, painkillers. And I'll go ahead and uh, make this a little bit bigger so you can, uh, you can see it a bit bigger. Uh, advance. And let's go to normal. There we go. Nice and large now so you can see it a little better. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get to our first camp here. Now, what do we have in the camp? We've got a bandage. Obviously, if somebody finds it, he's going to take it. Uh, he's not gonna, probably going to take the slugs. He's not going to take the empty cans. He's probably going to take the EpiPen. He's probably going to take the Makarov mag, the smoke grenade, and that's pretty much what he's going to take from your camp. Empty water bowl, I'll not really take it unless I plan to go out in the wild, unless I come up to a well, or I come up to a uh, pond or something like that, a little lake, then it's no point me having it. If I'm planning to go into a uh, churn or an electro and just play deathmatch, then it's no point really taking it with me. <laughs> So that's kind of pretty much it, what I've taken from the first uh, tent. Now that's me finding this camp, it's not actually my own camp. And I'll go ahead and uh, get away from it. Now, if I come back, let me go ahead and uh, just drop my bag on the floor here. I'll come back, as you notice inside it, there is a patrol pack already. Now if I go ahead and uh, open this, uh, take the patrol pack and open it, as you can see inside there's a Makarov, a Makarov mag, a morphine injector and an MP5 mag. I'll go ahead and close this bag and I'll take the wood pile because that's going to be handy for me to get into the next camp. Okay, so that's camp number one. Let's go ahead and uh, camp number two and see what we have. Now, remember we've uh, taken the uh, wood pile. We, t we took some crap out of it, not really anything useful. Uh, but we'll go ahead and look at what's inside. Now, if you remember in the first camp inside our bag, there was an MP5 mag. We'll go ahead and put in the inventory. We'll take it and we are armed and dangerous. Now this is not the best gun out there. And the reason it's not the best gun is because if somebody does find all my little setup here, I still have a chance to run away. If I'm a little bit of a good distance away from him, the MP5 is not the best gun out there to shoot players. But if I'm in a tight spot, I can shoot somebody. Headshots will do a great deal of damage. Zombies, I can defend myself. I can do pretty much everything I need to do. So uh, let's look at what else we can take from here. Obviously, there's a heat pack, there's an M70-67 uh, grenade, and there's another patrol pack. There's not really a lot I can take from here. I can take the binoculars. I can take stuff like that that I, I can probably uh, use. Now, I'll go ahead and uh, put my backpack. I'll empty, sorry, my backpack. I'll put this contents in my inventory, which is going to be the Makarov mag, the morphine injector, and the Makarov itself. Now, I have a pistol and a gun itself. Now, I know you're saying, uh, okay, well, this is not the best gear you're going to have, but it's in not intended to have the best gear so far. Because camp number two is going to contain, again, hidden items, which is going to be in your patrol pack again. We'll go ahead and open it, and as you can see, there's matches. Now, remember, we took the wood from the first one. Now, I can already cook meat, and I don't really need to carry food with me. There's a drink in here because I could be thirsty by this stage. There's a ghillie suit. Uh, there's another bandage, there's a military flashlight just in case I need uh, to be going somewhere at night. The military flashlight is a good one to have because it emits, uh, it emits a red glowing light. So he's not really spotted by other players. We'll go ahead and put everything here so uh, our backpack is empty. And I'll go ahead and uh, fill my inventory up. I'll get this, I'll take this. Flashlight, hunting knife, map. I'll take the drink. Uh, I already have the wood pile. I don't need it. There's a ghillie suit. I'll go ahead and wear it. Little weird noise over there. Now, uh, I already have my ghillie suit. I'm a lot more protected because I can uh, hide in the grass a lot better. I can uh, blend in the trees a lot better. It looks like there's a goat there that wants to be in the film. Yes, you want to be in the video. Say hello to YouTube. Now, um... Getting back into uh, the second camp, uh, as soon as he lets me, once you change your clothing, you don't let you all the time. 
Now, uh, there isn't really a lot I can take from it. I'll take the bandage. Uh, the wood, obviously, I can... Uh, this I can put back. Uh, the uh, EpiPen I can put back because I don't really have uh, a friend with me. So it's kind of pointless carrying it around. If I need the room, I will not carry it with me. Again, the... Um, Small grenade I don't really need. It's very useful against zombies, but it's giving your position away. So this is something to be used in extreme cases. And that's pretty much it. I have something to start a fire with. I have wood. I have drink. I already have uh, a wood pile in there so I can cook meat. I can already hunt. Now let's go ahead to the final camp, which is going to be camp number three. Now this is going to be your most hidden camp and it's going to be somewhere in the woods. It's completely up to you where you hide it. Let's go ahead and uh, look what's inside. Obviously, the first thing is going to be in there. It's a DMR, which obviously I'm going to change and I'm going to take the DMR. Now, the uh, next thing that I'm looking in there, there's a reboot of the server, I think, or a bit of lag. No. Now, the next thing I'm going to need from there is scrolling down. There's raw meat. I can cook it if I didn't do any hunting. There's a compass. I'll go ahead and take that. GPS. There's hatchet. There's. Uh, I'll take the M9 Silence instead of the uh, Makarov. There's night vision goggles, toolbox, watch, and at the end there's a, uh, there's a patrol pack coyote, which I'll go ahead and uh, take. And the other, one, uh, the other one just disappeared because I don't really need it anymore and I can always resupply it. Actually, no, it's back here. I just thought sometimes it disappears. And that is me pretty much geared up for the fight. Now, you're thinking, okay, well, you got yourself the DMR and everything, but there's no DMR mags. We'll look inside the bag, see what's inside. It's just some Stenax SD, some uh, antibiotics and another drink, but there is no DMR mags. Well, I do have five, uh, four M24, M24 mags. I'll go ahead and take them out. I'll back up a little bit. Now, if you right click on these, you can combine it for a DMR mag. You need to have four of them and you could do the same thing. As you can see, I'm reloading my DMR. And I've got full magazine now if i have an m24 in there i could do the same thing again right click it and you can split it into four four m24 mags therefore giving you a bit more of a chance of somebody not actually finding your camp and if they do find your camp hopefully what you'll do it'll give you time for you to shoot him in the back by the time he realizes the magazines can be split and the magazines can be changed for certain guns then that gives you more of a chance of your camp not being looted seriously get away from here and that is pretty much for your guide now remember where you place a tent and how you place a tent is completely up to you most guns and most magazines will work for different guns for an example a PDW will work for a G17 a G17 will work for a, a PDW and so on and so forth a lot of magazines can be split to be used in different weapons so bear that in mind before you uh, start making a camp and hopefully your camp will not get discovered now i have had camps for more than 30 days on a server and i've put a um, as50 in it just to see if it gets found and it never got found now you can place tents under water you can place tents in lakes you can put tents inside buildings almost i mean i know with the 1744 uh, version you need a little bit of grass but it still weighs around placing tents so hopefully this guide helps you a little bit on the uh on the field out there, and I know with Daisy uh, standalone coming out soon, I'm still hoping that it's going to come out towards uh, towards the end of the year. If it did, leave me a comment below, tell me what you think. Hopefully, you have a couple of tips yourself you want to share with somebody. And if uh, you did enjoy the video, go ahead and uh, give it a like. And I'll see you in the next video. I've been the Russian sniper. I'm not going to be out because the fucking you, should, you just stole my shit, like fucking mother. Ah, yeah, out. Just stole my line, man.